G'day, thanks for checking out this Proto Platform video. I'm actually after a little bit of help to uh, diagnose um, a bit of a servo jitter. I've got the motherboard um, platform here with a wireless transmitter, but a wireless um, receiver on that side, and this is the servo platform. Um, I've got it connected to a plane at the moment just because that's what I had to be able to demonstrate some servos. But that's not actually the intention, it's probably for a remote control car or a boat or something like that, so it doesn't need to be um, quite as, as fast. Um, got it connected here to a brushless motor with the plush 6 amp speed controller. This isn't the motor that would go on that plane, but it's just what I had laying around for a, a demonstration. So I'll put it together, um, so I've got the wireless platform that goes on first. And this is the terminal platform and conveniently a, uh, a 10k pot fits really nicely into that terminal so I'll put that on here. And finally the um, joystick platform which has got the PS, the PlayStation um, 2 sort of a joystick uh, which is just two potentiometers and a push button. So I've got it set up um, with my code and I'll post all my code that this is the throttle these are the other ones and this is the, the elevator um, back and forth on the joystick. Now, uh, what's happening is because of the serial in from the um, wireless transmitter and receiver, there's a bit of a jitter with the, with the servos. The motor's not too bad and there's a bit of latency or, or a bit of delay, I guess, um, to speed it up and slow it down, but that's sort of acceptable. Um, the problem is with the, with the servos, they're a bit too jittery. Um, now I've got 14M2 microcontrollers, Pickaxe 14M2 microcontrollers on both the transmitter and receiver um, but if need be I'm happy to go to a, a 20X or some something something else um, to be able to do a, a H serine or something like that. So I'll show you what, what it does. Um, turn this one on first. Now you see that the red light in there, nothing actually happens on this until I press the button so it arms it by pressing the pressing the button on the joystick and disarms it, so I'll just leave it disarmed at the moment. Plug the battery in here. Okay, now turn this on. Okay, so now I've got the servo servos going, and that's what the problem is. Um, but I'll show you the motor first, so I'll turn that up slowly. And the motor's spinning, and as I speed it up, you can see that that response isn't actually too bad and the motor doesn't seem to have any issues with the, the jitter. Just turn that back down and you can see the servos now. You can see that that is a little bit too jittery for, for what I'm actually trying to do but it still works and you can have two things going at once even have the, the motor turned on as well. And it all seems to respond pretty well. And that's all just with the, the cheap wireless there um, from Seed Studio and I get about 100 meters out of that little whip antenna. Um, I haven't, haven't played around to try and optimize that but 100 meters is fine for the sorts of applications I'm using. Um, it's just that little bit of jitter and I'll post my code on the forum so you can have a bit of a look. But, uh, if anyone can help, that'd be appreciated. Cheers.